Well, one family in Bonneville County is uh, broken, and a Blackfoot man could spend the rest of his life behind bars for murdering their daughter. Local News 8's Bree Clark is live outside the Bonneville County Courthouse. Bree Adon Arroyo was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison for first degree murder, but we understand the family still doesn't totally feel justice has been served here. Well, Jay Carroll Arroyo pleaded guilty back in 2013 for the murder of Chrisley Ashleman. Now, prosecutors did deter from impeding the death penalty due to a previous plea agreement, but the family says that he should rot in prison. I just want them to know that I'm sorry. These were the only words that Don Arroyo had to say as Christie's picture was displayed for the whole courtroom to see, stirring up emotions for her family. She was my number one, and how can I describe the pain of losing that to any of you? Even though Christie's cousin couldn't pour out an explanation, Christie's mother didn't hold back. When Aiden took Christie from us, he took half my heart, my reason for living. I no longer know who I am, and I, I don't know what happened. To be happy is anymore. Now I spend time looking at a door, waiting for Christy to walk through, and she never will. But even with all the heartache a trial could cause for any family in this situation, the defense insisted that Christy wasn't innocent from her own crimes, so his client should only get 13 years behind bars. I'm trying to be careful here, I don't want to disparage Christy, but uh, the bottom line is uh, that people don't. Nationwide, people don't get the death penalty for, for, for killing drug dealers. But through letters and tears, her family insisted she only made a few bad decisions and wanted to turn her life around. They say she even wanted to do social work for people with disabilities, a second chance that was taken from them. Aiden didn't just destroy one life, he destroyed many. And in most cases, there is chance for an appeal, but Adon waived his rights as part of a plea deal. Live in Bonneville County, I'm Bree Clark. Thank you, Bree. District Judge John Schindling said during the hearing that he weighed both sides of the case and he stands by his decision.